Bless you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Coming to Approaching the Throne of Grace Cyber Prayer Room here. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you that's first time viewing, I want to take this time to introduce myself. I am Apostle Karen Brocker, Apostle in the Lord's Church. Amen. And so we know the Bible says men should always pray and that we ought to seek him early in the morning. Amen. And so that's why we come today. Hallelujah. For those that have been viewing for the last couple of days, you know what this is all about. It's a 10-day prayer challenge for breakthrough. And we know that breakthrough is a success in a particular area. Amen. So if you need success in a particular area, no matter what it is, if it's something to do with your family, your your job, <coughs> physical healing, your community, or whatever it is you desire breakthrough in. We are a body of believers that is serious, and we do believe in the power of prayer. We do believe that God word say, where any two or three are gathered, there he is in the midst. So even as we gather on social media out in cyberspace, hallelujah, and he say, where any two touch and agree on anything, it shall be done. So I come to agree with you in prayer this morning. Likewise, I pray that you have come to agree with, come here to agree with me. So if you have your prayer request with you, you can put it in your hand. Hallelujah. We're just using it as a point of contact uh, so that we can activate the prayer of agreement. And if you don't have it in your hand, I know that you got it in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. So I just want to uh, read Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 19. Isaiah 43 and 19. It says, Behold, I will do a new thing now. It shall spring forward. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. <coughs> Amen. Amen. So we thank God for his word this morning. And we are standing on the word of God this morning. The prophet Isaiah said that God would do a new thing. Amen. So 
uh, we just believe in God to do a new thing in certain areas of our lives, in our community, whoever we are standing uh, in the gap for. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We just believe that God can even do make a river in the wilderness. This shows how awesome God is because we know that a river ain't no water flowing in the river. But we believe in the power of God so much and we believe in his word so much. Tell We know that he could even bring water, river, come on, in a desert place. So you may be in a desert desert place right now but as we pray for these 10 days together amen we believe that god is going to give us that breakthrough somebody may need a spiritual breakthrough a financial breakthrough uh whatever kind of breakthrough it is we just believe hallelujah that god is going to make a river in the middle of your desert we've been talking about the the 10 day challenge the prayer challenge uh, restraining from meats and sweets like Daniel did and we know that Daniel got a breakthrough and I said what is the significance of number 10 I was asking God why was it 10 days what was so significant about these 10 days and God began to show me that prosperity it was prosperity and we know from Daniel's story he did receive prosperity it was completeness perfection and divine order so we are believing Believing that that after these 10 days that we're going to get the answer that we expect amen the Bible said one can chase a thousand and two can chase ten thousand so we link up our faith this morning and we know that we are putting the enemy to flight this morning hallelujah so come on hallelujah as we go before the throne of grace we're praying to finish uh, the first half of this year strong and that God will give us wisdom for the second half of the year. We're just believing God that obstacles and barriers, hallelujah, in our life will be broken. We're praying that uh, the condition, we're praying for the conditions of our hearts and minds and, and for the purpose and the position that God have for us, hallelujah, that we will break through any uh, barrier, any challenge that the enemy has for us. Amen. Hallelujah. We're praying this morning that God will give us grace for the race. Grace for the race. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're praying this morning that, that we will have a mind to serve God. We will have a made up mind no matter what because obstacles and barriers do come. But when you have a made up mind, you're going to run the race. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're praying that we are overcome us this morning hallelujah we are overcomers this morning we overcome through the blood of Jesus and the words of our testimony and we love not our life unto death and so what are we testifying about this morning we're testifying about the goodness of God in the land of the living hallelujah hallelujah so father God in the name of Jesus we come before you hallelujah what a humble heart we ask that you were creating us a clean heart and renewing us a right spirit we thank you father that we are on your wake up list this morning we pray for a fresh anointing today we pray for an anointing that will just destroy the plan of the enemy every diabolical attack that the enemy has set against us has set against our family we we pray that yokes will be destroyed, burdens will be lifted, shackles will be removed in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning, even, hallelujah, before the sun is rising, even as the, the witches and the warlocks are returning from their COVID, hallelujah, after they have made their chants and their incantations, we pray against that this morning. Everything they were doing in the midnight hour, we pray that it is broken, it is rendered null and void, useless and inactive, inoperable in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord God, we send the word of God. We send the word of God to the four corners of the earth this morning. We send the word of God over our family this morning. Father, we pray for clarity of thought today, God. Father, we pray for clarity of thought. We pray that we have the mind of Christ Jesus. No matter where we go and what we have to do today, God, we thank you 
you that we we have the mind of Christ. Father, we thank you this morning that we hear your voice say, this is the way, walk in it. And Father, not only do we hear your voice, we, that we will be obedient to your voice, that we will surrender to your voice. Father, we pray this morning, hallelujah, that the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts, even in our families today, God. We pray that everything we touch this morning shall prosper. We pray for the answer to every problem this morning, God. Every problem that shall arise in our day, God. We pray right now that you are giving us the answers right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Just as you made Daniel a problem solver, Father, hallelujah, that he was able to solve the problem for the king. And Father, we pray this morning that you would give us the anointing that as we go to and fro today, God, that we will have the answer to solve problems in the name of Jesus. Father, we just bless what you're doing. We bless what you're doing on the land, the sea, the air, even under the sea, God. We lift up our children before you, our grandchildren, God. Father, we pray a hedge of protection around them that cannot be broken, oh God. We pray, God, for the husbands, for the wives, oh God, that's in this prayer circle. Lord God. Father, we pray for their marriages, God. We pray that you begin to mend their marriages, God. We pray that you will meet every need, God, every need of each and every person that's in this prayer circle today, God. We pray that you will strengthen them, God. I pray that you will strengthen them to run the race, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just thank you today. Lord, we thank you today. Father, we thank you that you, hallelujah, had you sent your son, Jesus, Jesus to set the captives free and whom the Lord has set free is free indeed and so father we thank you that we are free today we are heirs with you father and we are joint heirs with Christ Jesus and we are seated in heavenly places father we thank you for healing us today God from the crowns of our head to the soles of our feet God all of our vital organs father God we thank you right now God father we thank you father God we thank you Lord we thank you God God, we bless your name. Oh, God, we bless your name, God. We bless your name, God. We thank you. Oh, la ba shekete. Rokonda la ma shekete. Rekandelebo shandereko. Rendeliku rikatata. Rekete tetete. Yekonda la ma shakata. Father, we thank you. We thank you right now, God. We thank you for the mysteries of the tongues that have been spoken, God. We thank you for the revelation of the mystery that have been spoken, God. God. Father, we thank you right now, God. Oh, God, we bless your name, God. We thank you for every saint that's in the cyber prayer room this morning, God. Father, we pray that you begin to minister to their hearts. We pray that you begin to release the warring angels to go and do war on their behalf, oh God. Oh God, we thank you today, Father. You say whatsoever we bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatsoever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. And so, God, we bind the plans of Satan and his imps in the name of Jesus, and we loose the wonder work and power of Christ Jesus over our lives. Father, we thank you. We give you thanks and we give you praise. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So beloved, hallelujah. As I was praying, I, I heard the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. As I was praying, hallelujah. The Lord says that you guys are further on the journey that you thought. He said, just by entering into this 10-day of prayer for breakthrough, hallelujah, God said he's bringing you to a point of completion. That's what I heard the Lord saying as I was praying. Hallelujah, God said that you are further along the journey that you thought hallelujah in the realm of the spirit hallelujah somebody has been believing god hallelujah somebody has been working on a on an assignment somebody you have been working towards something I'm, I'm trying to articulate the way the lord is giving it to me 
somebody you have been working towards something and and you know who you are you have put your hands to begin to do something and god says to tell you that you are more complete in what you're doing than you think i hope that makes sense to you you started something you put your hand to something and you've been wondering how it's going to turn out and how it's going to work out and is it really working and do it really make sense for you to uh, be doing what you set out to do. But God says to tell you that you are more complete in that assignment <laughs> than you thought. The enemy has been trying to mess with your mind to make you feel like it's not worth it. But God says, if you stay faithful, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth your effort for everything that you have put in it. God say it's going to be worth your effort. So stay on the course. Stay on the course. Don't give up. Don't give in. Stay on the course. Amen. Because God has heard your prayer. God has heard your cry. He know what you stand in need of. Hallelujah. And all things wonderful in God's time. And so as we stand on Isaiah 43 and 19, God says, hallelujah again. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forward. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a, a way in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Sometimes you feel like you, you're in a wilderness period. Hallelujah. But God say, even in the wilderness, sometimes you feel like where you are is the wilderness. But God say, I am yet God. I will work even in the wilderness for you. And he say, I would even give you rivers in a desert. And so sometimes where we are located, we feel like nothing could happen for us. Where we're located physically where we are located in the spirit. We feel like nothing can happen because we feel like we are in a wilderness and we feel like we are dry. I don't have anything to give. But God say, just when you think about giving up, God say, I will show you that I am God. I am God Almighty. I am the God of the breakthrough. I will send you water to sustain you. I will let you know, hallelujah, that I am the God, even in that wilderness spirit. God says to tell you, hallelujah, just to remind you that he is still with you because you could not exist, even in that wilderness period, if God wasn't with you. You could not exist in the wilderness if God wasn't with you. You could not exist in the desert if God wasn't with you. God says he's going to give you a makeover. He's going to give you a new thing. He's refreshing you. He's restoring you. He's reviving you. So go ahead and run. Run the race with grace. Hallelujah. You are closer to your breakthrough than you ever imagined. You are closer to your breakthrough than you have ever imagined. Run the race with grace, says the Spirit of the living Lord. So God bless you, beloved. Thank you for tuning in to Morning Glory here and approaching the throne of grace cyber prayer room. And I do uh, touch and agree with you. Amen. There's no distance in prayer. I'm just reminded of the, uh, the, the centurion ruler, his servant lay home sick. And he heard Jesus was out in, in the press healing and ministering. And he went to Jesus and he says, I have a servant that lay home sick. He say, uh, I need you to send the word. And Jesus say, come on. He say, I'll come to your house. The servant told Jesus, he say, I'm a man of authority. 
I tell one to go and they go. I tell one to come and they come. He says, so I, un in other words, he say, I understand authority. I understand your time. I understand who you are. All I need you to do is send the word and my servant will be healed. Amen. Hallelujah. So some people feel like, hey, cyber prayer room, what is this? But I want to let you know there's no distance in prayer. Jesus sent the word. Hallelujah. When that uh, centurion ruler got home, the Bible say his servant was healed that very hour that Jesus sent the word and God is saying this come on Holy Ghost hallelujah because somebody faith need to be stirred up somebody faith need to be stirred up and when the centurion soldier got home his servant was healed and he began to ask what time was he healed and when they told him it was the very same time that Jesus just simply sent the word amen and so as we send the word of God today we we praise God that the word of God is being stirred up and it's being activated in our circumstances we speak the word of God over our homes over our household over everybody that live under our roof we send the word of God to our communities. We send the word of God, hallelujah, to our jobs, to our businesses. We send the word of God, hallelujah. And we're praying to the God of the breakthrough, amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So God bless you guys. God bless you, Sia Monique. God bless you, Sister Precious, Minister Judy. God bless you guys. Thank you guys for coming in to the prayer room. Uh, Minister Diane is left, but God bless you guys. And if you have a prayer request or you desire to say something, hallelujah, if God is speaking to you, if he's giving you a word of wisdom, word of knowledge, something you want to share before we close the cyber prayer room, you can go ahead and do that. I'm looking at the comments. So, amen. Uh, if God is giving you a word and you feel like you need to come on the camera, just go ahead and put that request. We're just taking a little bit longer this morning because it is Saturday. Amen. Hallelujah. Saying that maybe some people are not working. So, amen. So if you have any comments that you want to put there, if, if God is saying anything to you that you want to share with his people, you can go ahead and, and do that. If not, we're going to